There are a number of settings that you can set globally in a points gradebook that can affect how the students see the gradebook. To do this on the Manage Grades area, you click the Settings, and then you're going to click the Org Unit Display Options. The Org Unit Display Options are essentially settings for the student, except for one. The first one is the number of decimal places to display. This is a setting for you. So if you don't want two decimal places to display, maybe you don't want any. So you put zero, so we'll round up. And you can put zero to five. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And I'm going to close. And I'm going to go back to Enter Grades. And you'll notice that it now rounds to zero decimal points. So again, that setting under the Org Unit Display is really your choice. The rest of these are how the student sees the gradebook. In order to do this, I'm going to be switching between a student view and the instructor view. So now I'm seeing the student view here, and the first setting I want to show you is what's called the points. So I'm going to go back to the settings, and the points grade is not checked by default. And this setting determines whether or not the points value associated with the grade item will be seen by the students. So if I checkbox that and click Save, and now I go back to the student's view and I'll go ahead and reload you'll see that now the student does see the points which I think is a very nice thing so they can see how many points they got on quiz 1 on quiz 2 again your choice whether you choose to have that or not the grade scheme color and the grade scheme symbol if I uncheck those and click save and now I'll go back into the student view Notice what happens where it says grade. They now disappear. So you can have one or the other or both show up. I'm going to go ahead and choose both of those. Number of decimal places to display. So again, in this particular case, you'll notice right here, if I refresh now because I saved it. Oops, didn't save it. And I'll refresh. So these are round numbers, but if I didn't have round numbers, there would be a certain number of decimal points. So again, I can choose 0, 1, 2, or 3. I'll put 0. Characters display, don't worry about that one because if, unless you're using a text item, that would be there. The next thing that's interesting is display how the final grade is calculated to the users. If I go ahead and checkbox that and click Save, and I'm going to go ahead and go into the student view, and I'm going to reload. You'll see this little icon up here. It will have how many points a student has. This is a points gradebook. And if this, there's a little calculator there and they click on that, this will show them how their final grade was calculated. It'll show them that they got a 9 out of 10 on this quiz, 20 out of 20, 30 out of 30. And then the final grade is 59 out of 70, which is how many points they've achieved divided by how many points they've had. And again, we only have one category of points here. That's what that shows. And the last thing is allow the users to view, uh, to, put, to add their grades to the ePortfolio. If you're not using ePortfolio, which a lot of you are not, then just ignore that. So those are the different settings that you can change for, for the student and what they see uh, in terms of the gradebook.